I gotta be honest with you guys, today most of the creative AI features that I see, I actually despise. It's weird, it's almost as if human creativity is not really something that mixes well with robotic creativity. But I will say, there is one feature that I actually love that is AI and helps in my creative process, and it's the ability to do this. For those who don't know, there's lots of different names for it, but essentially it's AI rotoscoping. It's the ability to cut out an object or person, which is the rotoscoping piece, but to do it not manually. Historically, there's a whole art form around it for people who still, to this day, rotoscope for a living. They cut stuff out and they make it look really nice. But for all of us little content creators, we don't need it to look that professional. These tools have bridged that gap and made it even easier for us to cut things out and have fun in our videos, which is useful for the fun stuff, but it's also great for color grading, um, special effects, you name it. It's opened up all of these doors. And I bet you're not surprised, but today I am curious to see if between DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro, my two favorite editing softwares that can both do that, which of these are easier or faster to do this process with. So let's take the beginning of this clip, let's throw it into these two softwares, and let's see which is faster, better, efficient, you name it. Let's compare. New project, AI Roto Test. Okay, we've got the clip in DaVinci Resolve. Let's see how quickly we can do this. So if I click on this clip and I hit my hotkey to take me to Fusion, you do have to do this in Fusion. You can't do it on the edit page yet, which is already kind of a ding, but it's fine, we'll roll with it. Go over to your media node, hit Shift plus Space to select a tool. It's called Magic Mask. AI Roto in DaVinci Resolve is called Magic Mask. Click on Magic Mask, and then let's start putting dots on all of the human pieces and parts. Let's hit Render, and let's go. Doing a good job so far. Okay, then we go back to the edit page. Look, Bob's your uncle, Fran is your aunt, and we're done. That's how we do it in DaVinci Resolve. I don't love how many clicks it takes. Let's compare it to Final Cut Pro. Just have to go over here to Masks and Keying, Magnetic Mask, drag that onto your clip. You don't have to go to a different window. And same thing, start clicking buttons on where you want to roto and do option plus click to try to minimize where you don't want it to roto. And let's go, analyze, let's see how it does. Absolutely cooking all of a sudden. So you can see the percentage there. If you wanna do AI rotoscoping and you wanna know which one I think is less convoluted, the answer is Final Cut. It's simpler, it's cleaner, it's faster. Stay dopey, my daddies.